Hey guys, Phil from Motorsport Tuning Solutions. So in this video, I just wanted to go over some of the benefits and maybe reasons why you might want to pick an aftermarket ECU case enclosure for the almighty Link G4X plug and play ECU. Okay, the first benefit of a plug and play ECU is literally that, a plug and play ECU. So what I have here is an R32 GTR wiring harness and I've got a Motorsport Tuning Solutions case with a Link G4X uh, plug and play ECU for a GDR or Skylines, anything to do with RB. And then you get this beautiful scenario where there's no patch harnesses, no uh, extended harnesses or anything like that. Literally, plug and play. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Okay, another reason why you might want to go with the Link G4X plug and play ECU and case is for simplicity. Simplicity to get additional sensors coming into the ECU. So Link do make this nice and easy for us. Um, we can get extension harnesses, CAN bus harnesses that plug into the ECU itself. Okay, so here we have the typical um, Link extension harnesses. Um, comes in bags like this, comes out of the bag like that and we've got two meters of length on each one, just over actually. Um, eight cores, all color matched, um, and then there are pre-terminated um, N4 where it clips into the actual circuit board itself. So that's nice and handy. Like I said, um, all of them have two harnesses that you can attach onto the board. Some of them have three. So three times eight cores, that's a lot of inputs and outputs. Um, next over here is the CAN bus network cable coming out. Once again, it plugs into the um, circuit board. Some circuit boards, uh, or some ECUs, will have, because this is a CAN high and CAN low, will have uh, positive um, 12 volts and ground also in there as well, getting it from the ECU, which is handier, um, but not all of them do. Um, so you can have stuff like pressure sensors going into the ECU, intake air temp sensors, we've got boost solenoids, all that type of nice, beautiful stuff. Okay, now I'm just gonna take off the cover so you can see what it looks like uh, once it's all installed. Um, all of these uh, ECU cases are designed with brass um, inserts for all your threads. So that's for the circuit board and for this top cover. Uh, one thing to note if you didn't know, uh, don't touch the circuit board with your hands unless you've got an earth strap on because you can with a static fry your circuit board. It has happened, um, not to me, but it, it does happen to some people. So just be aware of that. Anyway, this is your typical sort of setup. So um, if, hopefully you can see with the camera, but this particular model, this JZX90, it has three extension harnesses that we can have which is really handy. Um, you've got one of the extension harnesses here, another one on here. On the board itself, it will tell you what they're allocated to on the ECU, whether it be like a AN volt or a digital input or a um, auxiliary or whatever it might be. Then this one, this cable here is your tuning cable. So, so you can um, upload tuning files and all that type of stuff. And then there's two CAN networks um, they come through here. So here at Motorsport Tuning Solutions, when we do our installs, um, we sit it all in really, really nicely. No tension on the plug itself. Um, and then put cable ties on either side of the, um, uh, of the cables going through the, um, the casing here, just so they can't be pulled and pulled back and stuff like that. So there's no tension. Um, and then you've got your seven bar map sensor, which comes through here comes through there and then like I said before it's got a um, removable um, I guess nipple you want to call that um, and then yeah the circuit board has uh, four mounting um, screws mounted in there and it's just a work of art look at that thing yummy yummy so everything works really nicely so that's the reason why you get one of these cases. It's new, it's clean, all the cutouts are done, it's been thought of. Um, it's pretty easy really, super affordable. 